All right, LDBC, forgive the background noise. Let us just get right to it. Okay, so everybody's talking about this brawl, which, of course, Stevenson's family. And, of course, you have the people who, they're, you know, they're, they're countrymen of Oscar Valdez. Now they're coming, and because they're upset that Shakur Stevenson beat the hell out of Oscar Valdez, I'm talking about he beat the man up, man, brutalized him. They're upset, so now they're looking for any little way to criticize Shakur Stevenson. And they're saying, man, it's sad, man, that Shakur went out there, man, and, you know, he's got a bright future ahead of him, man. He, you know, he shouldn't have, you know, went out there, man, you know, blah, 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 blah. And it's just sad to see how he just jumped off the stage, and it's sad that Shakur can't take his family anywhere. You know, like, they, they wanted to criticize the guy. They wanted to because they were upset that, you know, Oscar Valdez got, got his ass whooped. They were upset. And so they couldn't criticize the way he fought. You know, they wanted to say, oh, well, he ran. You know, cause they, 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 they had that whole stigmatism with fighters who box. But Shakur, you know, it points in the fight where he stood in the pocket with Oscar Valdez. I'm talking about stood right there in the pocket with him, traded with him. So you can't say he ran all night. Can't say that. Uh, um, basically, you have to say he put on a master class. And a lot of people now, I give them credit, they did say that Shakur put on a master class. Okay? I, I, you know, saw some people who said it and, you know, but then you have that, that, that segment. That, that, that cadre of just Oscar Valdez countrymen that just, <laughs> whatever reason, they want to criticize the man. So, you know, then they're looking, well, you know, he should have jumped out there. Well, I mean, okay, it's the man mother. And Shakur Stevenson's mom didn't start anything. She was trying to get to the press conference. I mean, it's her son. And you would think the stupid, goofy security, you would think that they, you think they know better. They, you would think that they would know who his mother is. You'd think that. But I don't know. I guess I guess this is, you know, top flight, dumb security. Don't know. OK, I don't know. But apparently these people, they didn't know who his mother was. And that's how things started. And then, you know, something popped off. Somebody said something disrespectful to the man mama. I don't know about y'all, but if my mother's sitting there and my mama don't cause altercations, which my mother don't, you know, well, she'll end it with a, with a pistol. But she don't start any altercation. I know if somebody disrespect my mother. Yeah. I'm finna react the same way. If I would think, if I thought, even thought somebody was trying to hurt my own mother, I would react the same way. Anybody, anybody would react the same way if somebody trying to hurt their mother. Okay, so I, I, let's let's just lose this whole Shakur need to, you know, be more responsible and all this. Shut up, because y'all didn't care one way or another. Okay, you were looking for a reason to criticize the guy. You found your little open. You know, you wanted to, oh, boxing master class, but. <laughs> You know, he should, he should be careful who he bring his family with. Well, won't y'all say Oscar Valdez need to be careful what he put in his body? Ah, ah, oh yeah, 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 that's right. We won't talk about that. Yep, you don't talk about that. <laughs> at least Shakur got some values. Let's put it like that. At least, at least he do got values, okay? At least he has some values, some morals. Appears that Oscar Valdez don't have many. I mean, if he would, you know, go and put his body through you know, rigorous, rigorous performance enhancing drugs to go and perform at the highest level, okay? I mean, uh, maybe we need to question this guy. Maybe we should question Oscar Valdez. But I think two people were believing that it was a fight with Team Valdez, and I, I don't think that was the case. I don't think Team Valdez had anything to do with what was going on. I don't, I don't believe that. But I do think there was a mis miscommunication with the security guards, and somebody said some disrespectful to the man mama, and that's how a fight ensued. Um... You had uh, Tim Bradley who was trying to help him look for his mother. And then you got people trying to hold him. No, man. I, I, hey, bro, get your hands off me. I'm trying to find my mama. Get your hands off me. Okay? Get your hands off. <laughs> me and mama, we got to find mama. If it was my daddy, I'd react the same way. If I thought somebody was trying to hurt my daddy, guess what? <laughs> hey, I'm going to war. I'm going to war for my family. I'm going to war. I'll fight anybody, anytime, anywhere for my family. That's just how it is. I don't care who you are. Okay, if my family are being attacked by somebody, my family's being, you know, in danger, I'm going to war. And that was Shakur Stevenson's mindset, which I, I can't blame the man for that. Can't blame the man. Look, this dude put on a, a boxing master class. And, you know, why, why are people acting like Shakur Stevenson the only one been involved in a brawl? I mean, that's something. Do y'all know how many brawls have happened in boxing? over the decades I mean I mean <laughs> folks come on 
Come on, things have happened before. I mean, I don't know. I mean, people don't want to even talk about when, when Paul and and argue. He almost started a brawl with Autumn Lowball people when he spit on them. Yep, a brawl almost started. And I almost think they did. They got into like a small brawl. Him and Lowball, when they were having like a, they were doing some reports, man. It was a, it was a small, it wasn't like the, a big, huge brawl, but it was a melee. I call it a melee when it's on a smaller level. It was a melee. And, uh, you know, they, they were out there fighting. I mean, so come on, y'all. Come on. A brawl, it's not the first time a brawl happened after the fight, man. It's not the time. I remember when, when Roger Mayweather got in the fight. They got a fight. Him and uh him and Jab Duda, uh, uh him and Noel Judah. <laughs> they was they were brawling in the ring. It's a combat sport. Brawls and combat sports are synonymous. I mean everybody just chill out. Chill the chill the hell out. Chill out. And tell this man what he need to do to try to get his mama. That's his mama. Like we like we supposed to tell Shakur Stevenson how to react. And Tim Bradley, yeah, he tried to help the man look for his mama, but he go Tim to my huh. You know, man, he gotta look, man, he got a bright, bright future, man. He got a bright future and you know his future bright. And that's that's the problem, man. What are we so like infatuated with, you know, business that we forget about family? And see, I, I, that used to piss me off about Floyd Mayweather Jr., man. Like he was getting into a brawl, his uncle, okay, Zab Judah, I think, punched him in the nuts for like the second and third time. And Roger Mayweather got mad. It was his nephew. You know, he was trying to defend his nephew. Floyd just stood back. No, nah, man, I ain't messing up my money. I ain't finna mess up my money, you know. Like, and I started thinking to myself, dang, does this guy not care about his family? I mean, I think he cares about money more than his family. Wow. And now that was his uncle. This ain't like this somebody who, that's like a 15th cousin or something. This somebody he was living with, or this somebody he real close to. This somebody that, you know, Floyd was really close to, his Uncle Roger. You know, Uncle Roger at the time, man, he was a little bit older. He wasn't the same guy he was as a fighter. You know, and Roger had been getting sick anyway. And it's just like, damn. I wonder, man, if Roger, you know, getting beat down somewhere, what would Floyd do? Would Floyd just sit back and be like, oh, yeah, you know, I ain't trying to mess up my hands. I mean, I still got to make money with these hands. I, I mean, what? Buddy, 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 I tell y'all, man. I tell y'all, it's a shame, man. It's a shame, but you know, you Valdez fans is acting like y'all are really, you know, impressed with Shakur boxing. Cut it out. Y'all ain't impressed. You just mad because Valdez got beat up. 